Okay, so in this tutorial we'll be having a look at MIDI messages. If you know about MIDI um, already, you can feel free to just skip this. So as I said before, um, in the previous tutorial we saw how to get a light to turn on when you press it on the launchpad. And I explained, as you can see here, uh, the launchpad sends a MIDI message, it goes into Ableton, and you can, the way a launchpad show, uh, a light show works right now, uh, I'll just tell you quickly, is you manipulate um, it with certain things called MIDI effects, and that will allow you to do more than just turn one button on. But at the moment we've got none, so it's just sending the same output to, back to the launchpad, and that's um, what's happening. So what is this signal um, that is happening over here? It's basically a MIDI signal, and there are certain values. We can see I've put three in. You only need to really learn these three to make um, any light show you really need. Uh, previously, we saw also there's also channel as a, a property, but you only need to know that to set up the tracks, and then you never have to worry about them um, again. So I didn't put it here. So let's have a look at the first one. The first property is no on and off, and it's the most easy. It's basically so boom, a message has been sent and it's basically saying note on because um, we've pressed it. So the note is on or rather it's represented or as a zero or a one or true and false. And basically just ask this, is the button being pressed? Yes, no. So one, zero, zero, one, okay? So it's really easy, no on, no off. Easy peasy. Second one is pitch. And this is a bit more important and maybe a bit more complicated. So pitch is basically the number of the button and each, num each button has its own number. So the way it works here on the launch pad, and this is super important for understanding light shows, is um, Novation basically decided this is going to be number 36. So just know it's not really important now, this is number 36 or also C1. So if you have a look here, I'll just um, put this in here and I'll explain what this is um, in, in the future. If you have a look, now, if you count these, these are 36 notes, and this is number 36, right? And it's also C1, so this note is lighting up. If I press number 37, so this note, this one will light up. 38, and this one, then 39. And you might think this is number, th th this is number 40, but actually you can see it's lighting up all the way over here. So we've got 36, 37, 38, 39. And the way the launch pad works is they've split it down the middle vertically. So this is number 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, blah, 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 and it goes all the way up here. And then it starts again over here. So you can see this and this, they're side by side here. So that's how it works. So these would be the numbers. Um, uh, so it just keeps on going up, 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 up. And then it continues from here, it goes here, and it, you've got these ones. And then I think you've got these ones, and then you've got these ones down here. And you can't access these if you see nothing's happening when I press them, but in the future I'll show you guys there's a way to access them with a Max for Life patch, but that's advanced stuff, so we won't worry about that for now. So we've got no on and off, easy peasy. Um, if it's basically, are you pressing it or not? Pitch, which is basically, which number are you pressing? So in this case, we're sending a note on value for number 36, as in pitch. And the last one is velocity. So let me just say very simply, velocity for most launch pads, except for the pros, uh, work like this. When you press a button, it sends, it's like a note on or a note off. If you, press, if you press it, you're sending the maximum value, so 127. If you let go, you're sending zero. So that's basically how velocity works on most launch pad pros. Um, however, on launch pad pro, it's velocity sensitive. So that means basically, it's like the keys of a piano. So depending on how hard you press the, the note, it will send out a different velocity um, to Ableton. So if I press it really gently, this is maybe, say this is maybe 10, a bit harder, this is maybe 50, and then this is uh, all the way up, 127. So that's basically velocity, and it's basically representing the color. So as you can see here, now you've got zero. Zero is basically no color, it's just off. And if you press here, it's 127, and on the Launchpad Pro, that's orange. So if you have a look here, this is velocity sensitive. So right now, this note is zero. But if I press it really hard, it's going to be orange again. So it's, I pressed it as hard as I can, so it sent 127 out, and it gets 127 back. But if you press it maybe a bit softer, softer now it's white, uh, now it's red, now it's white again, um, now it's green, 
now it's red, now it's pink, uh, whatever. So if I just do this, you can see I press these all slightly differently, except for these two, but whatever. Now they're different again. And you can see they've all got different colors because I pressed them with a different velocity. So don't worry, all launch pads can um, get colors so they can receive different velocities from Ableton, just they can't physically send different velocities because they're not capable of, do of doing that. But you can color all of the launch pads with different colors. The newer ones have more colors, but all of you can set velocities um, on all launch pads. So no worries, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So we can just have, just out of practice, um, try to guess what's happening here. So the note is on, so I just sent a note on value to Ableton. The pitch is 36, because if you remember this note, uh, the bottom left note, it starts at 36. And I didn't press it too hard, so the velocity it sent is probably gonna be something like 60, about midway. Now, what happens if I press this one really hard? It's sending a note on, so a one, and the pitch is 37, because this is 36, so this one up here is 37. And the velocity is 127, because I pressed it as hard as I can, and you can see, in fact, it's orange. So if I press, for example, uh, this one here, this one is 36, 37, 38, 39, and it's yellow. Um, so it will have whatever um, velocity is assigned to yellow. And when I release it, it's basically saying send a note off, so zero, to um, note number 39 and a velocity of zero. So actually it's sending something now. Uh, now it's sending note on to uh, pitch 37, 39 and with a velocity of whatever. If I do this, it's 127. And when I let it go, it will send off a note zero, uh, a note on, no, it will send off, ah, it will send a note off or, or zero to number 39 of pitch, so button number 39, with a velocity of zero, because I'm letting it go, so boom. So that's what's happening. So try to wrap your head around this, and in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a bit about the logic of light shows and uh, the MIDI effects I talked about previously on how you can do more than just have a button light up. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.